All right, this is karma drama. We have Bruce and Michael. Buffer didn't know that they were brothers. That was a fun thing to look at. Um, it's when one of them was like, I guess, adopted, and then another one stayed with the family or whatever. But they were like twins or something, or brothers. But they looked very much alike. They had similar jobs, too. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and they met up one day and they just, you know, did a DNA test or whatever because they were so much alike. So they found out that they did have a DNA match. They were brothers. Um, but that's great. I mean, you can find somebody like that and be like, oh, you're just so much like me, and then find out that they're siblings. All right, we have love. Um, we have romance, happiness, affection, love, and positivity. We have sweetheart. We have a special lady, wife, mother, romance, girlfriend, good female, sister, love. Alright, so... Familiar relationship, I guess. Okay, so potential love affair, special man, husband, a boyfriend, male friend, or family member. Like I said, they found out they were brothers. Okay, and we have unfavorable um, tear of pain. We have crying, we have mood swings, we have grief, and we have unwanted factor here. Maybe one of them got separated because, like, the parents couldn't feed all those kids or something. Maybe they could only afford, like, one or two. Self-love, passion, and relationship. We have happy home and happy home life moving in together. We have the four of wands. We have page of cups with naivety, flirtation, and clingy. We have foe. We have a competition or a comparison. The other side of the fence, an embrace of some joy not thought of. Okay, and then we have friend. We have friendship, positive news, lessons learned, significant aspects of personalities that you are rejected but are already to incorporate and acknowledge. Okay, so we have work of a career that you enjoy, creativity that you get to express, a con man that does not get to take advantage of you. We have a bricklayer or a bricklayer's trowel. We have retirement, which you did not want, um, calm and peace, which you did not ask for, boring sex, unproductive old people. We have shutters. We have something being a burden and you cannot cope with it. Something being negatively faded or realigned that makes you a quitter. We have coping. We have enjoy travel, a happy and welcome journey. Outsider who makes you part of their family or growth. Uh, getting transportation, affordable transport, breakthrough. We have a great love, clarity, things moving quickly, exciting ideas, everything beginning to take shape. We have uh, medical treatment, we have breakthrough, we have sharp mind, we have synergy. We have ability to grow, ability of a of potential ambition thrifty um decisive desire um practical indulgence can be developing into something better we have a uh, a jack claw i think a jack claw is kind of like the the what the claw of life or whatever when they pull somebody from a vehicle or something um we have sweeping change we have s suspension bridge we have tranquil 
Um, tranquil accompanying calm. I write sometimes in chicken scratch, you know. Um, so we have the number 91 here. It's either a lucky number, it's a year, or it is a angel number about the situation. You can look that up if you like. We have a basket moon. We have Mercury. We have Friday right of Venus with the number 52. It's an angel number, a lucky number, or a, a somebody's number. It could be somebody's age too. Um, could be an angel number. Um, the same questions, but now the focus moves to the next action. We have eyeglasses. Uh, okay. We have the delightful may become mixed as if the clouds begin to overshadow the flowers or maybe the king decides he wants someone to celebrate with him. We have the keystone. We have harshness, night, negativity. We have dark fantasies. We have fate. Um, we have setbacks. We have a dreamer. We, we have might need to fight for what you want. We have yellow. So with, with all this, I, I believe there's some resentment between the two brothers. Like one was kept and one wasn't, or one had, was adopted by another family and maybe it was traumatic or whatever but you know it's like you wanted to know your siblings like it's it's hard to explain it's like you wanted to know your siblings and then you got different things and you know you you became like different in the way you interact with your own family because you thought one uh, person was your family or two people were your family and then you meet up with somebody else that looks similar to you and, you know, has a lot of the similar interests and you find out that y'all are related between, you know, here and now, whatever. And then there's a lot of those weird questions. Why didn't they want me and all this and whatever. What happens? Did I get lost or whatever? It's one of those things. But, um... I think it's better to find your family um, with people you know or who you feel comfortable with, really. So it, it, it depends of how you feel about situations and things like that. But um, I think the jealousy comes from not knowing their parents. And I think that's a big issue when you're separated from your biological parents. Because you want to know where you came from, why you have certain mannerisms, beliefs, why why you like certain foods and things. Um, so hopefully, you know, it doesn't damper the situation with adopted people when they find their biological parents or anything. But understand that you were meant to be a different person than what your biological parents could give you. Um, and depending on decisions and how you view the world you can become the person you need to be in different situations it's not the end of the world it's not the beginning of the world it's the circumstance of knowing that you're valuable in any case you know maybe they can take care of you because they were busy all the time or wanted you to have more of a functioning family dynamic where like you know you could talk and express yourself in a more creative area and like some people are just too busy for that and they wanted better for their kids or whatever so get adopted out or whatever the case may be and hopefully it's a good situation you know a lot of times you never know it depends on situations people and all that Anyway, hopefully this helps somebody out. I know it's a lot, but, you know, you, you have to kind of warp your brain into thinking, what if I was in the same situation and how would I feel on both ends of the ends of the argument? You know, it's one of those things. It helps brain activity to just kind of, like, think about it. Like, do I want to be the brother that was adopted out or got, got raised by a different family? Or would I want to be with my biological family? I mean... There's two dynamics. Some people 
kind of dip through both of them like I did when I was growing up. I grew up um, with a domestic violent situation with my dad who was gay, you know, and he was fighting the fact that he wanted to express himself. He wanted to kind of get a divorce and be himself and go, you know, and he didn't know how to explain that to my mother because she, you know, she was one of those people at the time that wanted a family, you know, it's, it's hard. Um, but yeah, we, um, we went through a lot. And then I got, a, like, into the foster system and then I got adopted by a nice black family um, for a couple months. And then I got returned to my biological mom after she got out of the coma. And then she went into the hospital because she had a tumor on her um, abdomen. So had to go through that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hard. Uh, it's a hard life, but you do go through a lot that make you the people that you need to be. You might not obviously understand it at the time, or why you can't get everything you need or want at the time, but it makes you who you are as a person, and makes you stronger than most, and how to deal with certain things, and <laughs> hopefully you remember what it felt like to go through certain issues so you can relate to other people that are going through it now but um yeah don't discount what you go through in life it was meant to happen for a reason and hopefully you find value in it you can share it with other people or you can make friends that are going through some of the same things that you can relate to um it depends i mean it's a value of knowledge that is only valuable to certain few people but it does help you connect so depends depends on how you look at things anyway i will see you in the next reading all right you take care of yourselves all right bye